Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Uh, now today's a bit of an experiment because all the time I've been doing the mailbag streams and uh, doing challenges and all that stuff, I have received some good looking craft. I mean, I have received some really beautiful craft from some people. Uh, I mean, even my own craft, I don't really design it too much for the aesthetics, but um, I put a little bit of consideration in there, so they're not the worst looking things in the world. But that got me thinking, I mean, especially with the simplistic aerodynamic model that KSP uses, you can make a craft that isn't sleek and smooth and it won't suffer as a result. So can we actually get a better craft if we just design for the constraints we have rather than real world ones? I mean, if we just go completely utilitarian on it and throw all consideration of looks out of the window and just how butt ugly would that craft end up being? So I set about designing a craft which much like myself, is best appreciated without the narrow constraints of traditional ideas of beauty. Um, I mean, I wasn't trying to make it ugly, it was just a case of if I needed more wing surface, I'd just put more wing surface where it was most convenient for it to go. Um, it was sort of more utilitarian than actively bad looking. Uh, yeah, tuning this thing was... it was interesting. The tuning algorithm really didn't know what to do with this to start with. I maybe should have gone in and put a basic tune on it to uh, to start, but um, hey, it managed it in the end, and this is the result. I have called it the Quasimodo, although it's... I know I said I wasn't trying to make it ugly, but just doing this thing without any um, goals of beauty in mind, I was kind of hoping just for effect it would be a bit uglier than this, but yeah, this is um, this is the fruit of my labour. Uh, I've tried to make it as high performing as possible. I'm hoping it will at least beat the craft of mine I've made that do have some some aesthetic consideration in there. But, uh, well, I suppose there's only one way to find out, isn't there? First up, then, we'll be putting the Quasimodo into combat against my Lynx F1, the best of my craft. Well, the best which doesn't use some kind of hack or something. Um, yeah, I've made some adjustments to the Quasimodo because it turned out, even with the AI tuning, it was uh, it was unstable as hell. And in keeping with the, the spirit of the thing, I've just slapped some extra wing surface and control surfaces on there. So, um, yeah, let's get them up into the air. And the competition starts. I still haven't tuned these as much as I would like. I haven't done... Um, I haven't set the like the explosion distance on the missiles. Oh my god, that is close. <laughs> that is very close. I thought I heard an explosion over here. Yeah. One of the Quasimodos has fallen to its own missiles. <laughs> I was about to say I haven't done the... I haven't done the, um, the explosion radius on the missiles, but... Also, apparently, I also need to adjust the drop time on them. Uh, now, the Lynxes do have a little bit of a vulnerability when it comes to uh, dealing with Sidewinders and GT Curlum coming in hot with a couple of those, or at least will do if he can get a lock on. Yep, gets one of those away. Yeah, uh, the uh, some of the countermeasures have been nerfed in recent versions of BD Armoury, and oh my god, that is what we wanted to see. It's now back to two apiece. Um, so yeah, more of a fair fight. Uh, oh my god, no it isn't. One of the Lynxes is gone. Sorry, one of the Cosimodos is gone. <laughs> ha! Huh. Wasn't expecting that to- oh, or has it just been damaged? Yeah, it's just been damaged. Okay, still got guns. We still have a fight. Yeah, as I said, the, uh, some of the countermeasures, particularly the flares, have been um, kind of nerfed in recent versions of BD Armoury, so... I need to stick a couple of extra flares on the on the links. In fact, all my sort of like current main three fighter subscriber craft. Oh, that is beautiful. Does some real damage. Yeah, definitely getting the better of the turning competition now uh, with the uh, with the links. Oh, that is that is yeah. That's gone. Yeah. The other thing with these links is once they're in a spin, they can't really do anything about it. There it goes. So just the one Lynx left, trying to uh, trying to fend off two Cosimodos. Even with the uh, even with the suicide by missile, it seems. Oh my God, has its uh, has its air intake stripped off? Even with the suicide by missile, it still comes back and uh, is victorious. Huh. Nice. Okay then, let's um. 
let's crack on to the next fight. I think if we're going to do this concept properly, we kind of need a battle which is kind of looks versus, um, not looks. Uh, yeah, we're putting the Cosimoda up against uh, the XF-39 Super Flanker by one of my subscribers, Luna. A beautiful, beautiful craft, but will beauty win out this time? Let's get them up into the air. Our second fight starts, Steep Kerman. Will it be more suicide by Amrams? One away successfully, two away successfully. Oh my god, that was a close call. That was a close call. Ah, uh, uh, just get rid of the Amrams. Just get rid of the Amrams and everything's fine. Just get rid of the Amrams. Did, did something explode then? Oh my god, they're all fine. Okay. <laughs> The Amram Gamble, are they going to survive their first, uh, losing their first volley of missiles? Oh my god, one of the super flankers has taken a hit. Oh my god, yeah, they are, they are taking some heavy damage there. Uh, they are, oh, one of them is gone. One of them is really, really, really gone. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful craft. And if I remember quite, uh, correctly, performed pretty well in the, uh, the mailbag stream they were in. But, um, yes, is is just raw practicality going to win and out in this case? The other reason I wanted to put this up against someone else's craft is, oh my god, what happened there? Was that was that missile suicide as, get as well? I'm not sure. One of the Quasimodos has taken a hit. I was about to say, one of the other reasons I wanted to test this against someone else's craft is because my design skills can be suspect at <laughs> the best of times, so... We needed we needed a better uh, needed a better frame of reference. I think that might be one of the damaged. Yeah. Okay. Practicality wins, but I think there's um, I think there's an even more rigorous test we can put this through. For their final fight, the Quasimodos will be going up against another subscriber craft. This time, the Legged Lack Trainer Standard Light. Another subscriber craft from Legged Lack who tends to build. Shall we just say pretty deadly craft? Um, so it should be interesting to see how uh, how this one ends. Let's um, let's get it going. One final time, then they come around the lottery, the lottery of these craft using Amrams. Okay, okay, I think we're all good so far. Just, just okay. Josh, if you launch one more, then we should be safe. Did you launch that last Amram? Oh god, oh god, that was close. Oh god, oh my god. It's missile kills left and right and centre. We have one healthy Quasimodo left. One of the Legged Lack trainers got hit, which is... Ah, uh, nothing fatal. Nothing fatal. One healthy... One healthy Quasimodo. It is Legged Lack's patron Kerbal going up against Legged Lack, the real life person's um, aircraft. Oh my god. One of the trainers gone. They are being distracted by the uh, by the remaining debris of the other Quasimodos. Oh god, it's all over. <laughs> Here come the missiles. Okay. Yeah, I remember what I was saying about my design skills being a little bit suspect. But I think, as a basic proof of concept, it's pretty much what's happened to what's happened to the camera angle there. That was weird. I think as a basic proof of concept. Oh, hang on. That's kind of better. The camera was going weird. Okay, I think as a better as a basic proof of concept, it, it it's done well, but um. Hmm. It, I think it beat anything else I could make without kind of just hacking it and cheating, so uh, I'm going to call it a success. Anyway, that will be all for today. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, maybe even getting involved with the Discord. Great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. Um, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel and get your own little patron Kerbal, like um, like Steak Kerman and Legolak Kerman, your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon only Discord, that kind of thing. I will be back soon with some more BD Armory, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.